Investors are flocking toward Tesla after hearing this news. If you hold any Tesla stock or are considering buying some, then you need to watch this full video. Hello everyone, you're watching Trade Daily. Like and subscribe to get all the latest news on Tesla and Tesla stocks. Now let's get into the news. Well, start this off by looking at Tesla's stock price. Today, a share of Tesla stock is trading at $194 per share, down 2% at the time of recording. Tesla's price cut strategy has paid off, but there are longer term concerns in China. Tesla shares are starting the week on a down note. The stock began 2023 with impressive gains of more than 50% as many investors bought the dip after a 65% correction in 2022. But some industry watchers now see potential trouble ahead, particularly in Tesla's second largest market. The stock dropped as much as 4.7% Monday morning and remained lower by 2% as of 11.11 a.m. at. An analysis released by Reuters today pointed out that Tesla has an uphill battle in the important Chinese market even after its recent success in bolstering demand with vehicle price cut. After Tesla dropped prices for Chinese consumers, deliveries from its Shanghai manufacturing plant spiked 18% in January versus the prior month, according to data from the China Passenger Car Association CPCA. But that organization's secretary general told Reuters that the short-term demand spike might not reflect the long-term reality of what Tesla faces in the world's largest automotive market. That 18% month-over-month increase was even more impressive considering sales in the overall Chinese electric vehicle EV market actually fell about 4-5% last month versus December. But some of Tesla's deliveries from its Shanghai plant are exported to Europe and elsewhere. Those sales will be claimed by Tesla's German factory in the future, after that facility ramps up to full capacity. Qi Dongshu, Secretary General of the CPCA, pointed out that Tesla has already lost meaningful market share in China as domestic manufacturers ramp up EV production. Tesla's share of the Chinese EV market has dropped from 15% in 2020 to 10% in 2022. Qi pointed to several factors where the company is falling behind. Tesla's facing a serious problem of a very limited product mix. Its slowness to respond to Chinese consumers' preferences has led to a very passive positioning for Tesla to rely on few means, such as price cuts to stay competitive. The Chinese market is critical for Tesla. After these vulnerabilities were published and after the stock has surged thus far in 2023, some investors turned negative on the shares today. A tech CEO spent almost $600,000 on a Super Bowl ad to warn America about Tesla's self-driving technology. Dan O'Dowd thinks your child's safety is worth over a half million dollars of his money. Sammers between the often irreverent and always ultra-expensive Super Bowl ads this year was a commercial from his own Dawn project, calling for the immediate ban of Tesla's full self-driving F feature. The 30-second ad, which his organization confirmed to CNN cost almost $600,000 to run, is the latest attack against Elon Musk in a year-long campaign by the Green Hills software CEO to galvanize public opposition to FSD. I am trying to remove the worst, most incompetently designed, developed, and tested automotive product on the market," he said in a tweet on Sunday, calling for the U.S. government to mandate the deactivation of Tesla's FSD until all supposed defects are fixed. Tesla did not respond to an inquiry from Fortune about the Dawn Project's Super Bowl ad. In a tweet on Sunday, however, Musk responded by claiming the ad would actually benefit his carmaker. This will greatly increase public awareness that a Tesla can drive itself, supervised for now, he wrote. O'Dowd burst onto the scene in January of last year, quickly becoming the most vocal critic of FSD, eclipsing figures like Snowball Capital CEO Taylor Ogan and investor in Tesla rival BYD. He even ran for the U.S. Senate on one issue, getting supposedly unsafe Tesla FSD cars off the road. After taking out a full-page ad against Tesla in the New York Times, he followed up in August with videos supposedly proving that Tesla's indiscriminately mowed down children. Tesla quickly responded with a cease and desist letter requesting he takes down the video, to which O'Dowd replied he can't afford not to be intimidated by these threats. The authenticity of the videos is greatly disputed and Tesla-friendly website Electra claims to have conclusively debunked the claims, an assertion that O'Dowd continues to deny. To remove all doubt that these severe safety defects are real, we invite Elon Musk, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and the media to witness a public demonstration, the Green Hills software CEO argued on Saturday. The Super Bowl ad does, however, substantiate one thing. Tesla's FSD feature is one of the most divisive issues surrounding the carmaker's technology. Last week, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak argued he had been cheated by Tesla, 
arguing that the company had overpromised and underdelivered on its pledge to turn a car into a fully automated robotaxi at the touch of a button. Wozniak's comments came only weeks after it emerged that Elon Musk had in fact staged a crucial 2016 video upon which he based his claim for leading the industry in self-driving technology. Last year, Tesla finally expanded its so-called FSD beta to all US and Canadian customers who purchased the software package, which currently costs $15,000. Yet it remains a far cry from what was promised. Instead of a fully automated vehicle, it remains nothing more than an assist system, albeit an advanced one, that requires constant supervision by a licensed driver behind the wheel. Even Electric noticed in October that Musk had shifted the goalposts, with FSD stuck in beta development for an indefinite period of time. Currently, 400,000 customers are testing the software. By comparison, tech firms like Cruise and Waymo offer actual robotaxi services in limited geofenced areas, where the surroundings have been meticulously mapped out in high-definition digital maps. Later this year, Mercedes-Benz expects to become the first carmaker to market a rudimentary drive pilot in the US, which will see drivers in Nevada legally allowed to take their eyes off the road. It has already been selling this technology in Germany since last May. Tesla. Inc. is attracting investor attention. Here is what you should know Tesla has recently been on Trade Daily's list of the most searched stocks. Therefore, you might want to consider some of the key factors that could influence the stock's performance in the near future. Shares of this electric car maker have returned plus 60.9% over the past month versus the Trade Daily S&P 500 composites plus 4.5% change. The Trade Daily Automotive, domestic industry to which Tesla belongs, has gained 4-4.8% over this period. Now the key question is, where could the stock be headed in the near term? Although media reports or rumors about a significant change in a company's business prospects usually cause its stock to trend and lead to an immediate price change, there are always certain fundamental factors that ultimately drive the buy and hold decision. Rather than focusing on anything else, we at Trade Daily prioritize evaluating the change in a company's earnings projection. This is because we believe the fair value for its stock is determined by the present value of its future stream of earnings. Our analysis is essentially based on how sell-side analysts covering the stock are revising their earnings estimates to take the latest business trends into account. When earnings estimates for a company go up, the fair value for its stock goes up as well. And when a stock's fair value is higher than its current market price, investors tend to buy the stock, resulting in its price moving upward. Because of this, empirical studies indicate a strong correlation between trends in earnings estimate revisions and short-term stock price movements. Tesla is expected to post earnings of $0.88 per share for the current quarter, representing a year-over-year -year change of minus 17.8%. Over the last 30 days, the trade daily consensus estimate has changed minus 29.5%. The consensus earnings estimate of $4.02 for the current fiscal year indicates a year-over-year -year change of minus 1.2%. This estimate has changed by minus 23.5% over the last 30 days. For the next fiscal year, the consensus earnings estimate of $5.16 indicates a change of plus 28.4% from what Tesla is expected to report a year ago. Over the past month, the estimate has changed minus 14.4%. Having a strong externally audited track record, our proprietary stock rating tool, the Trade Daily Rank, offers a more conclusive picture of a stock's price direction in the near term, since it effectively harnesses the power of earnings estimate revisions. Due to the size of the recent change in the consensus estimate, along with three other factors related to earnings estimates, Tesla is rated Trade Daily Rank hash 3 hold. The chart below shows the evolution of the company's forward 12-month consensus EPS estimate. While earnings growth is arguably a most superior indicator of a company's financial health, nothing happens as such if a business isn't able to grow its revenues. After all, it's nearly impossible for a company to increase its earnings for an extended period without increasing its revenues. So, it's important to know a company's potential revenue growth. For Tesla, the consensus sales estimate for the current quarter of $23.74 billion indicates a year-over-year -year change of plus 26.6%. For the current and next fiscal years, $101.99 billion and $123.21 billion estimates indicate plus 25.2% and plus 20.8% changes, respectively. Tesla reported revenues of $24.32 billion in the last reported quarter, representing a year-over-year -year change of plus 37.2%. EPS of $1.19 for the same period compares with $0.85 a year ago. 
Compared to the Trade Daily consensus estimate of $23.73 billion, the reported revenues represent a surprise of plus 2.48%. The EPS surprise was plus 9.17%. The company beat consensus EPS estimates in each of the trail in four quarters. The company topped consensus revenue estimates two times over this period. No investment decision can be efficient without considering a stock's valuation. Whether a stock's current price rightly reflects the intrinsic value of the underlying business and the company's growth prospects is an essential determinant of its future price performance. While comparing the current values of a company's valuation multiples, such as price-to-earnings, price-to-sales, and price-to-cash flow, with its own historical values helps determine whether its stock is fairly valued, overvalued, or undervalued. Comparing the company relative to its peers on these parameters gives a good sense of the reasonability of the stock's price. The Trade Daily Value Style Score, part of the Trade Daily Style Score system, which pays close attention to both traditional and unconventional valuation metrics to grade stocks from a to F, and it is better than a B, a B is better than a C, and so on is pretty helpful in identifying whether a stock is overvalued, rightly valued, or temporarily undervalued. Tesla is graded D on this front, indicating that it is trading at a premium to its peers. Click here to see the values of some of the valuation metrics that have driven this grade. The facts discussed here and much other information might help determine whether or not it's worthwhile paying attention to the market buzz about Tesla. However, its trade daily rank hash 3 does suggest that it may perform in line with the broader market in the near term. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the news. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the Tesla news. But just before we go, I'd like to remind you that this video is for news and entertainment only and should not be used as investment advice.